What's up everyone, Trey Thousand GT here with another video. This time we're looking at the 2006 Retro, the Nike Air Jordan 5 in uh, grape, teal, white, black. Um, this shoe, when it retroed in 2006, was semi-limited. Um, I think Jordan Brand did a pretty decent job. I was just pissed off that there was no Nike Air on the back, but we pretty much all expected it back in 06. Uh, I Personally, I wish they would have released back in two, the, uh, the year 2000. With the uh, white, black, fire, red, and the black and silver. But it is what it is. Um, at least they got the uh, the colors right. And they did right by that. Um, all around, it's a nice shoe. It's comfortable. They fit true to size. The uh, the shoe is just... It's 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 a pretty decent retro. Um, they tend to come... A lot of them uh, tended to come pre-yellowed on the bottom a little bit. So you got to be careful of that. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for the retro. It's just all around nice. But uh, I remember back in the day, um, I know a lot of you guys may not be old enough to remember. But uh used to walk into a shoe store and you can just imagine walking up to, you know, an entire rack of shoes. And you see the original uh, Grape Tail 5s with Nike Air in the back, nice shape. Just it, it had a different look and feel to it. The original definitely has a different look and feel to it. Almost like a, a piece of art. And this is just like the replica of that art. You know, the original has just a totally different feel to it. And, um, you know, the black and silver fives. But then to the left of it, you'll see the, the original Bo Jackson's, the 1990 Nike Solo Flights. Um, above that, you're seeing the, uh, the next sport Ewings, um, below that, you're seeing the OG, uh, Reebok Twilight Zone pumps and the Omni Zone pump and the SXT pump. And then, uh, I mean, just, there was just so much heat on one wall. You had the, the, uh, OG, uh, Nike pressures and you know what, back in the day, there was a lot more. Uh, older stuff still on the wall, so you would see stuff from like 1987, 88, 89. So you would see all this historic footwear on one wall. You had the Air Max 90 infrared, the uh, the OG Spruce Lime ones. I mean, if a lot of you guys could go back in time, your heads will probably explode from just looking at all the crazy footwear on the wall, and uh, just definitely had a different different feel everything you just looked on the wall and everything the color placements the colorways everything was just so on point and uh it's almost like it's it's they they can't get it right now i mean everything you know i like the fact that they're evolving with the technology and all that stuff and you know you can't stay stuck in the past but i mean they they put in some some real uh they put a lot of effort into what they were doing back in the day. There was a lot more art, I think, influencing uh, the design instead of, uh, you know, art itself. Just good artwork and, uh, you know, a good fusion of art and technology. Now I feel like a lot of it's just um, heavily tech. The shoes look kind of clunky. They look a little strange. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some nice shoes that are coming out, um, you know, but not like it used to be back in the day. I mean... I really, really wish that, uh, you know, I had some video. I may even have some video if I could find it uh, of, you know, back in the day when you used to just walk into these shoe stores. It was just a total, total different feel. And uh, But this shoe definitely brings me back in this colorway. It's just a gorgeous colorway. I know a lot of people either hate it or a lot of people say, oh, you know, everybody beasts on it because uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was wearing it, but it has nothing to do with that. You know, especially for us older guys, you know, a lot of us remember that, uh, this colorway. It, it's just a dope colorway. Uh, and it's uh, the Jordan 5. The Jordan 5 was a nice shoe. So, anyhow, um, that's the video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop me a line. And uh, as always, stay tuned for more videos.